Okay, okay, okay. Everything is set and everything is recording. Hey, what's happening everyone? I am your Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of the Gaming News, where I run down the list of all the gaming news, facts, rumors, trivias, and everything coming out the gaming industry this week. Uh, this week, I'm going to be uh, focusing on Vicarious Visions, something that we haven't talked about in a while, and <laughs> NVIDIA, which um, leaves some stuff. So, <laughs> we're going to get straight into it with that. Okay. So, we're going to start off on the first piece of news, which is going to be NVIDIA. NVIDIA, NVIDIA, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, well, they're back at it again, and they're back in the spotlight for something they did last September. Which is a bunch of games for PC was leaked through NVIDIA's GeForce Now game service. But evidence for these games are mounting with the official confirmation of Kingdom Hearts 4 over the weekend. Which was included in the leaks. So perhaps there is a grain of truth in these. If you want to know what the GeForce Now is, it's a service that allows players to play games on phones, tablets, and PCs. Which launched in 2020. Some of these leaks on this list are like Halo 5, with it being all, the only Halo not on PC. Some others are God of War, which was confirmed it would be it would bring it to PC early in 2022. Sorry, Sony confirmed it would. Demon Souls was also listed, which was slated to come to PC, but Sony later said this was due to human error, and it would remain on console. Which. <laughs> And Chrono Cross was revealed to get a remastered title, uh, titled the Re the Radical Dreamers Edition, but somehow was also on this list. But what do you think? Does this list have credence, or is it a bunch of fiction, and with a little bit of a punch to it that actually gave uh, some things away very early? What do you think? Um, personally, what I think <laughs> myself is that NVIDIA uh, kind of fucked up. They also went in on a uh, an AMA and slated that, you know, they're not giving no confirmation or announcement for any of these games, and it was quickly, quickly taken down. But the damage was already done, as you can see by this point. So, a bunch of these games have not been slated to come to the PC. But, you know, there was a bunch of stuff here that was, like, way far out there. First off, Kingdom Hearts 4. Yeah, that's... They kind of dropped the fucking ball with that one. So, um, personally, I think that it has some, you know, sensibility to it, personally. And I think that everything is supposed to be taken with a grain of salt, no matter what you uh, what you read, until there is a positive confirmation of it being the truth. But with so much damning evidence against it, if you want to take my opinion for it, my opinion is more than likely that there is some truth in, in that uh, Phantom list of games, which uh, NVIDIA kind of, you know, dropped the ball on. So, in my professional opinion, <laughs> If you can call my opinion professional. Um, this game, these games, I believe, will possibly come out onto the PC and eventually be released. If uh, you want to read more about it, again, I leave all my, uh, all the articles and sources that I was reading off of in the description below with the, with the name of the, you know, title of how I'm doing things. So, if you want to go down there, I believe there is... A, a thing with the the word NVIDIA leak on it and you can read the article that I'm citing from so if you don't want to take my word for it you can take the professionals words for it so yeah <laughs> anyway um, um, let's move on to the next uh, the next news source for the day 
and the next, uh, next, well, the final thing we need to do today, and it is Vicarious Visions. Now, I love Vicarious Visions, <laughs> but it's no longer called that. Well, friends, you heard it here as well. The Vicarious Visions, which lovingly remade and remastered not only the original Crash Bandicoot games with the Insane Trilogy and the first two Tony Hawk's games has now merged with Blizzard and is now known as Blizzard Albany and will be full-time working on Blizzard games. Even with this news, there is a lot of positive feedback online about the merger, but of course that comes with, uh, with some negative reception. Seems fine to me as long as they still put out some really good games. I don't see too much of a problem. If you want to read more about this merger, again, I suggest you read the article itself, which I'll link down in the description. Personally, um, Vicarious Visions, I feel, um, you know, has done a great amount of work with some of these titles. I love the, you know, the Tony Hawk's 1 and 2 remakes. I loved Tony Hawk's 1 and 2. Um, it was some of the games I first played in when it came to skateboarding, when it came to the PlayStation 1. So I'm glad that they got a remaster. And of course, the the insanely great, insane trilogy that they did, which I still play, is still pretty fucking fun. I'm actually very happy that uh, Vicarious Visions is getting, you know, a bigger brand recognition. Even though I, I feel like the worst possible place that you could possibly uh, be merged with would probably be Blizzard. But, if I remember correctly, if Microsoft has them in their hands, then I think that's another, you know, good fucking thing. Because Blizzard can't fuck them up as, as much as they did. So... What do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy the gaming news this week? And tell me, what do you feel about the Vicarious Visions merger with Blizzard? And do you guys think there is truth in the phantom list of games that NVIDIA kind of leaked online? Let me know. I want to hear. So. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate your time and hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. And again, if you guys enjoyed. If you guys have not yet, go down in the description down below. Not only with my articles, but right underneath it is a fabulous list of all the creators here on the Invisible Corporations. Go check them all out. They are a lovely bunch of coconuts and I can guarantee you guys like my stuff. You are guaranteed to like theirs. So go ahead, check them out. Give them some love. Tell them I sent you. And tell them that the dragon always flies with the best of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed, but until next time, good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see all you dragonlings back inside the world <sighs> of the gaming news. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for some more gaming dragon action. Peace.